Hey guys, um, so happy Thanksgiving, and uh, to you and yours, and I hope that you are doing okay. Uh, I don't really do holidays too much anymore. The older I've got, the more it just becomes another day. I know that sounds sad, but that's just the way I do it. Um, the last video got a lot of outpour, of positive from text messages to the messages on Facebook and Instagram and and even in the chat. I mean, it was incredible. And as nervous as I was, it's I'm glad I'm, I did it. I'm glad I was able to feel comfortable enough to open up about something that's so... Um, I feel embarrassed by. But it is what it is and you just gotta keep taking it with what it is um I am at a rest stop but we're okay we're fine I think I'm gonna go hang out with my kid for a little bit and uh, go from there but today uh, since there was such a good feedback I kind of wanted to open up a little bit more about something that I struggle with personally and I don't know if you do and if you do you're not alone in that either. I struggle with a lot of things. <laughs> and I may just keep coming more and more open about how I struggle with certain things myself. Um, I struggle with self-love. A lot. I don't. I can honestly say that I don't love myself at all. I honestly think I'm a piece of shit. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I, I don't feel like I have a lot to, to give to anybody. It's probably why I've been single for five years. Because I just shy and shun my way from everybody and anything. And that's kind of why I like ghost hunting alone or being alone in general. That's why living in my car isn't the, like the worst thing in the world. And But I'm allowed, I could just be alone. I like to be alone even though I hate being alone. It's the weirdest thing. And I think it's because I just don't self-love. I don't have any. Um, so if you're struggling with this, you're not alone. You can. I, I don't have the words to tell you what you can do to fix it because I'm not even fixed myself. Um, from my personal own life, I have a lot of problems that I, I just don't deal with. I don't care to deal with, but I'm finding this to be a little bit more therapeutic for myself. And I may start doing this a lot more. But I appreciate everybody watching the last video. I appreciate everybody just feeling like they needed to, to give me a warm hug. And I could feel it. That's the best way I can explain it. And it was something that um, I won't take for granted. So I thank you, everybody. Um, I don't. I don't really open up a lot of but I'm, like I said, I'm finding this will be easy. So I want to go ahead and turn to watch a clip that really, really resonates with me and how I feel with certain things and how I deal with certain things. And, and it scares me that this may come. It scares me a lot that this may come as she's getting older. And, you know, she did just turn six, and she's going to be asking questions. I'm talking about my daughter. She's going to be asking questions, and, you know, I just don't have the answer to it. Um, this clip almost literally, like, it, it's, it's almost to a T besides, like, the divorce part, never been married. Um... But other than that, I mean, her mom and I, I felt like we were in love. I could have been wrong. I'm not even sure I know what love is if I can't even self-love. It's sad. It's really sad. But, um, let's go ahead and, uh, watch the clip restaurant because well as a single parent that's all I could afford I was with my daughter the one and only light of my life